Salutations! Welcome back to Terraria, the series that nobody asked for, episode 2! Knowing what is soon to be a failure in a low quality episode, I load into the game. And I start off with pure action by changing the color of my cursor. That was my fan blowing itself over and landing on my guitar. Ah. In this scene, I edit with the settings that I genuinely do not know what they do, and then I keep on changing them as if I know what they are, and five minutes later, I'm still doing the same things on the settings that I have no clue what they even mean, and then now I'm back to the weird little parallax thing that I don't know what we means. It's gonna be a great episode. And now a word from me that- the me that's actually in the video. Okay, so the character I made for the last episode, it said <laughs> was used for 26 minutes and the video was like 14 minutes, which means that I definitely didn't cut enough out of the video. You heard him. You heard me. Don't, please don't watch that episode. It's bad. Here we are in the garbage house that I made. Uh, like it's really bad. I was trying to catch the rope. Here I am, looking at the settings again. It's not gonna make you any better at landing on a rope. And then three minutes later, I'm looking at the settings again! What? Why? Oh, is that what I think it is? Get that bunny out of the way. It's an actual gold squirrel. Wow! Not knowing what to do with the gold squirrel, as I don't have a net, I just move my cursor around it. Okay. I wanted to add onto the house, so you know what that means. It's time for a house building montage! Okay, now that the montage is over, I want to tell you that if this video gets enough views, I will do a part 3. One of the only reasons I'm doing it a part 2 is because Doge was like, Hey, when are you going to do the part 2 of Terraria? And I was like, oh yeah, that's a thing. But you really shouldn't watch the other episode because it's really bad. And I, like I said, could have cut out a lot more. But th this episode put a lot of work into it and I like it so far. So right here, I was running from a zombie, and a fallen star fell, and it almost hit the zombie. It was so close. You know how cool that would have been? Dang it. Speaking of fallen stars, uh, it takes five fallen stars to make one mana star, but you can just hold up the fallen star and make it, like, ring. So, in this scene, I was having a lot of fun with that feature, as you can see. Alright, so right here, I made a furnace, but it took me an embarrassing amount of time to figure out how to make that furnace. But I did it! Yay! I upgraded my tools, and then I made a bow. And the bow's enchantment was keen. Would you look at that? I finally did something entertaining and went mining. But then I replaced my headset with the more comfortable one. While I was mining, I realized I reached an ice biome, because the walls change color. They do that. Ooh, and then I found an underground house with, uh, good loot in a chest, but, uh, it also had statues so that I could add them to my ever-growing collection of statues. I seem to be struggling to get out of the water. I'm not sure why I didn't just build up. Uh, there we go. I saw this boomerang, and it made me think about the one Sokka uses in Avatar The Last Airbender. So I started looking for a cave. And then I kept looking for a cave, searching and searching, and then I, you know, kept searching. But then I realized that there was a cave behind me, so I turned around to go back to the ice cave that I discovered before. I didn't realize it was a cave for some reason, but it actually was. 
So, but I found it eventually. I'd love to tell you about all the fun times I had while caving, but sadly, the recording glitched, and I lost, like, ten minutes of footage. So, of course, I just decided to log out. I started to fill up my storage room with more chests, so that I could organize those chests. Because storage is important, kids! So, in the missing footage, uh, I actually found the boots that make you go fast, so that's where I got these for context. Here we go, caving again to make up for that lost footage, baby! So I had a 1v1 with a slime, and then I threw Sokka's boomerang at it, and killed it. Uh, also down here there's a minecart, and I really like minecarts, but they are really stressful because it makes you feel like you're passing a bunch of really good stuff. But also, I mean, it's literally a minecart. How can you pass down a minecart? Okay, so in this scene I got knocked off of the marble biome top, uh, but then luckily there was an ice house here. So, you know, all's, all's well. So after I built up, I grabbed the healing potion. Uh, and then as I was bridging across, there was a hoplite, and they throw spears at you. So I hid inside the house, and I think they can open doors, so I blocked up the door. But hey, there's a chest in here. I open the chest, and hey look, a blizzard in a bottle. Those make you double jump. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. So I equip the blizzard in a bottle, and then I go up to kill the people that are in the water, or the fish. So I throw Sokka's boomerang at it, and then I kill it. And then the other guy's like really bouncy, so I just like throw him across the entire biome. But then the hoplite's back. He starts throwing spears at me. And I'm like, oh no, don't throw spears at me. And so I try to hide in the house, but water pours in. And then, well, I didn't realize that he can throw through a platform and kill me. I decided to come back for more because, well, I mean, I'm not going to end a video on a low note. Who ends of, who does that? It's time for Operation. Make sure to come up with a name for this operation in editing. Okay, all the following footage that you're about to see is me trying to get six lenses from Demon Eyes so that I can spawn the Eye Cthulhu. But I also have to get more and better gear so that I can, well, win against the Eye of Cthulhu. Bro, they're not dropping it. Come on. Yeah, at this point I had killed about seven Demon Eyes and hadn't gotten a single lens. Keep in mind, I needed six. Bro, I keep killing Demon Eyes and they're not dropping lenses. What? Yes! I got one! Oh, you can zoom it in. I was looking for that, l like, yesterday. For a bit too long. What, what is like, what is it like when you, when you zoom it in all the way? Oh wow, that- I began turning the ores I had into bars so that I could make stronger items and weapons, such as- I could make a crown! Alright, that's- that's like a last resort thing. I'm gonna make a crown, aren't I? Make a crown? It's for the content? <sighs> well, I did it. I already made the crown. Look, look, I look bad in the crown. So I decided to go mining again to get stuff for the big fight. Gold. And a lot of slush. Sapphire. I quite like sapphires, actually. Probably one of my favorite gemstones. Not gonna lol! Look at all the gold! Alright, so this... This, my friends. This explo- Am I upset? Yeah! Am I glad that was on camera? <laughs> uh, yeah! I went back down, I killed an elemental thing that was trying to murder me, and then finally, I could have my gold. And then I found a mother slime and a coin portal and those give you a lot of money so I was pretty happy about that but once I had found that I went down and found amethyst so you know I like amethyst but then these two mother slimes I saw them in the corner of my eye right and then they started attacking me but then I got cornered by another one and so I tried to run away but there was three of them and so I got trapped by three different mother slimes! And I tried to fight them off, but I mean, there's three of them. And if you can look closely, there's another one in the top right corner. Like, I literally had no chance. Okay, let's be honest. Who doesn't love minecarts? They're so awesome! Alright, we're gonna- Oh! Oh! It's the hoplite! It's the hoplite! It's literally probably the same one. Oh no. Hi. Oh no. Why would I block up the door? Why would I block up the door? Why would I block up the door? Dead. Who can hit through the platforms now, huh? Ah! I have slowness. <gasps> a life crystal! I couldn't reach these two enemies with a boomerang, so I decided to jump down there 
and I immediately Bro. regretted it. It was nighttime, so if I wanted to do what I was planning to do, I would have to wait through this night, and then the next morning, and then into the next night in order to fight the Ipithulu. I found a hill and a horde of zombies, so I decided to crush all their dreams by knocking them back down as soon as I thought that they were going to get close to me. It's pretty great, honestly. I ran into this mountain to try to kill a demon eye so I could get a lens, but then the zombies got revenge uh, by trapping me inside, and they almost killed me. I decided to go back home and suit up with better weapons and armor. But don't worry, this time I didn't spend my gold on a crown. For that, I put my crown in the vanity section, which is where it should have been all along, and then I put on all my armor. Yes, this is in two times speed. After that, I made a golden bow, uh, which means I had to put my keen bow to rest. So, sorry keen bow, you won't be missed, I never used you. Right here I was thinking, huh, I wonder if you can get strange plants in normal mode. And then I found a strange plant, so that answered my question perfectly. Also, yeah, there's a sandstorm, uh, and I forgot those were in the game, but I mean, at least I have cool music. <laughs> oh no, how will I get past this gap? Oh yeah, that's right, I can double jump. It's kind of funny because the double jump thing I have is called a blizzard in a bottle, which means I used a blizzard, you know, in a sandstorm. Hey look, another strange plant. I'll explain more about strange plants in just a minute, but for now, you see these things? Yeah, those are what I need in order to craft a thing to spawn the thing. I'm I'm really good with descriptions. I'm back in the sandstorm, but now, like, the wind is against my back, so I mean, I'm practically Sonic. Also, this rope, this unfinished rope, was probably annoying you guys. It was definitely annoying me, but don't worry, I fixed it. I got your back. Also, here's what the strange plants do. You talk to this lady, and you press the strange plant button, and then she'll give you, like, a random die, according to the strange plant you gave her, and then you can put it on the little, like, die section, and look all snazzy. So yeah, here you go. See, look how cool I look. Isn't that awesome? Now I look purple. Oh, that was so close. Can you imagine? I just like... That was so close as well! There we go, bro. Yes, you don't have to find the demon eyes. The demon eyes will find you. Okay, that was more like a threat, is what it sounded like. Oh no! I got attacked by a weird looking dragonfly, um, and then this happened. Bro, what even is that? What? What? Is that like a- What is that? I finally got enough lenses, uh, and then the weird tumbly thing came back after me. I tried to knock it away, but apparently it chased me literally into the next biome, so I guess you just can't escape. Uh, and after that, I managed to craft there the eye. Is. So yeah. I went to my chest and grabbed the potions that I wanted. Then I drank those potions, and then I got ready for the big fight. At this point, I was wondering if I had enough time. Because once it turns to daytime, they'll run away, and you'll lose all the lenses that you use to craft the suspicious eye to summon him. It's a really good thing I made that gold bow and crafted a lot of fire arrows, because it was dealing really good damage to him. I tried using the staff, however, it was pretty slow, and I really wasn't that accurate with it at all. I wanted to just keep on hitting him with the flame arrows because they did good damage and they set him on fire. The boomerang didn't do that much damage and I was almost out of arrows, so I started using the staff a bit more. He kept on going underground where I couldn't hit him. Also, I was out of flaming arrows, so the normal ones would just have to do for this one. And then he went into his second stage, which means that he took more damage, however he was also more aggro and he did more damage. So I had to do it before morning. It's a really good thing I grabbed the potions from the chest. Also, the stronger healing potions were helping me out a lot, as he was doing a ton of damage. My biggest fear at this point was it turning morning, but I did have to keep on using the boomerang as it was one of the fastest weapons that I had. But after quite a while of fighting, and <laughs> a lot of fear that it would just turn morning, this finally happened. Bro, my heart is pounding. Why? It's the first boss. Yes, let's go! Woohoo! Okay. As it just now turns morning, that was perfect timing. Whew, thanks for watching.